Right. Governor Greg Abbott will sit down with teachers and staff at a Dallas school this afternoon. He wants to talk about education in the Lone Star State. CBS 11's Diana Rocco is at the Solar Prep Academy. And Diana, this is the second round table. Yesterday, Governor Abbott discussed much higher wages for certain teachers. Well, that's right, Russ. The uh, governor is certainly making his rounds, and today he wants to hear from teachers and students on things like school safety and higher wages for teachers, including a six figure salary. The governor is expected here in just a few hours from now. This is his second back to school round table. Yesterday, he got a lesson on how to improve education in Texas when he arrived at a middle school outside of San Antonio. He had pen and paper in hand, wanting to hear from the students and teachers there. Well, today, he is doing the exact same thing. Thing at the Solar Preparatory School here in Dallas. School safety has been a priority for the governor, but he said one of his goals this next legislative session is to invest in teachers, starting with a road to higher pay, even a six figure salary, which parents are all for. I'm a proponent of that. Um, pay great teachers, um, um, uh, competitive wages. I think that's great. Yeah, I'm very disappointed in the amount of attention and funding that actually gets into the school, the lack of support for the teachers themselves. Teachers are definitely underpaid. They are bringing up our future generation, and we need them to be paid more. And a Dallas ISD trustee took to Twitter this morning to voice his opposition to the governor's visit here today, saying that cuts to state funding have hurt the district. Miguel Solis tweeting, instead of dog and pony press conferences, our district needs bold, innovative solutions to school funding down in Austin. We're done being the innovators. Do your job this session at Greg Abbott, Texas. Those little girls you will place in your campaign photos need you to leave. The governor is expected here at 1 o'clock. We are live in Dallas. I'm Diana Rocco, CBS 11 News.